few days ago I had mentioned that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us and the Quran itself mentions that every dua is responded to. Either Allah gives you what you want or He gives you something equivalent or He averts something away. And I mentioned very briefly unless there is an impediment, unless there is something that is called in Arabic mawani ad dua In today's very brief khatira I'll mention the three main factors that prevent dua from being answered. The three main factors, there are more than three, but time is limited. Number one, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah does not accept the dua from the one whose heart is oblivious. Min qalbin ghafil. If your heart is not in the dua, you're not making dua. If you're just repeating something from a book, if you're just saying things like a parrot, if you have no idea what you're saying, if you don't have ikhlas and taqwa, you are just mumbling phrases. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Allah does not accept the dua from the one whose heart is somewhere else. Min qalbin ghafil. So you want your dua to be answered, then you had better put your heart and soul into the dua. You know what you're saying and you're saying it with meaning. And that is why when you make dua, it is better to make dua in your own language from the heart rather than to repeat something in Arabic that you do not know. Dua can be done in any language. So the dua should come from the heart and it should be, have meaning to it. That's the first impediment. If you just say things, it's not like a astaghfirullah magic formula. No, it has to come from the heart. Number two, the second impediment of dua not being accepted is that the, the issue of haram food and drink. The issue of eating and drinking from haram money. So when your, dua, sorry, when your body is being fed from haram, and when you don't care about where your money comes from, well then the dua will be rejected. And our Prophet ﷺ gave the example of the traveler who is far away from his family. He is tired, dusty, disheveled, and he's all alone. He raises his hands up to Allah. He says, Ya Rabbi, help me. Ya Rabbi, help me. Everything is going to work out for him. But then the Prophet ﷺ says, وَمَطْعَمُهُ حَرَامٌ وَمَلْبَسُهُ حَرَامٌ وَمَشْرَبُهُ حَرَامٌ فَأَنَّ يُسْتَجَابُ لَهُ His food is haram, his drink is haram, his clothes are haram. Then how do you think he will be responded to? How do you think he will be responded to? So one of the main impediments of dua is to not have halal rizq. And that's why we have to be very, very careful about where we earn our money from. If we eat haram, drink haram, wear haram, well then it will be rejected from us. And the third mani' of dua, the third impediment of dua, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Allah will respond to every one of your dua as long as ma lam yasta'jil, as long as the servant isn't hasty. The Sahaba said, what do you mean hasty? Does it mean we read a quick dua rather than slow? The Prophet said, no, the hasty one, listen to this, is the one he makes dua and he doesn't see the response. So he says, Allah is not going to respond and he stops making dua. He stops making dua because he doesn't see the effect of the dua. And the Prophet is saying, Allah will respond as long as you don't give up. So giving up on Allah, astaghfirullah, Giving up and saying Allah is not going to answer my dua is one of the main causes of dua not being responded. To summarize and conclude, number one, what is the number one issue of dua not being responded? When you're not paying attention, you're just saying things. Number two, you don't care about your rizq, you're, you're not care about where your own money is coming from, then the dua itself is not going to be responded. And number three, when you're hasty in dua, don't do these things and inshallah your dua will be responded to.